Yeah, go on, what do you want? Yeah, listen. If you think you're bad, yeah? Yeah, go on. I suggest you stop doing this. Yeah. Listen, so what so basically, right, what you're saying is, right, Eddie Earn and his dad Barry have got you, Ed and Matchroom, to phone me, haven't you? Right, that and you're telling me I can't put no videos out or you're gonna sue my ass. Is that what you're saying? Well, it's not gonna sue you, we can take it further. Well, are you gonna what's take it further mean? What's that mean? Well, you know what that means, don't you? End it there. I have to speak a bit professional on that other line then, but this is a different line now. Right? Yeah. You're there, shouting your mouth. Yeah. You're some kind of fucking this and that, yeah? Listen, end it there. We've done your Twitter. We'll do it again. Right, so what you're saying is you've kicked me off Twitter. Match room have kicked me off Twitter because of my videos. <laughs> I thought it were you, cunts. Yeah, well, you, you knew it was as anyway. It's not rocket science, is it? Yeah. That's the power we've got. We've big got old power. power. Big old fucking bullies, match room, innit? Well, uh, well, you need to still. You started it by talking about us. You know, nah, I'm just giving an opinion on boxing, mate. There's an opinion and they're slagging the off. There's an opinion? That's all I've done is give an opinion. You gave an opinion for slagging somebody off, so you can either give an opinion or you can either slag somebody off. It's either one of the two. So, oh. Talking about pay per view numbers and all this. Where did you get that information from? How did you know about our pay per view numbers? Don't matter, does it? What do you mean it don't matter? Um, Loose lips sink ships, mate. You've got a mole in your camp. <laughs> Frank Warren, you can talk about him all you want. You don't talk about our stable and my trunk and Eddie. And our fighters. And who am I speaking to now? Uh, most of our fighters are near your ends anyway. If you've got a problem with them, go and see Jim. They're scared to do that, aren't you? Hey? You ain't got the balls to do that, have you? You ain't got the balls to do that, have you? What are you on about? Listen, mate, nobody says boo to me, mate. They all know where I live. If anybody's got a problem with my videos, they'll come and knock on fucking door, won't they, mate? Hello? If anybody's got a problem with my videos, they'll come and knock on door, won't they? Yeah, but if you want, well, the way you're slapping them off. Listen mate, if anybody's got a problem they could come and see me, can't they? They've plenty of time. Send Steffi Bull round, he only lives around right the corner to my house. He ain't got a problem with my videos, I see him every day. It doesn't matter. Why don't you send him round, Steffi Bull? He's always fucking on matchroom show. Send him round or send all your Sheffield mob round. Listen mate. All I'm going to say to you is do not make threats against me. I don't take kindly to people making threats to me. The one who started the threat. Listen, I knew it were you, Matchroom, or kick, I knew it were Matchroom, or kick me off Twitter. Right, I knew it were that. But at the end of the day, mate, if I want to have an opinion about boxing, I'll have an opinion about boxing. All right. There's a difference between opinions and slagging somebody off. And yeah. Our, our organisation. Your organisation. <laughs> yeah. So end it there. End it there. Um, boxing. Don't mention our fighters again. Any of them. Just don't mention them. Yeah. So I can't mention your fighters, can I? You don't want me to. Say please then. Say please. No, no, it's not about saying please. Say please, you're a little matchroom little prick ringing me up from your boss, it's a Brentwood, ringing me up from Brentwood. You're a little prick who does it his toll for Eddie Earn. If I want to put videos out, I will. If I don't want to, I won't. It's as simple as that, but I won't be threatened by people on the telephone saying you're going to do this and going to do that. Things like that bother me. I don't like being threatened. I'm 10 years behind the door, kid. I don't fret. I don't get threatened easy, mate. Don't like it. Your solicitor. Your solicitor. What matchroom solicitor? Fucking hell, fire. Listen, mate. I don't give a fuck about you or matchroom. You want me to put videos out about Frank Warren and slag him, but you don't want me to say and give an opinion about matchroom, do you? Frank Warren probably ain't got the power to ring you up like we have. Frank Warren ain't got the power to ring me up. Who's giving you my number? It's all about power. Who's giving me number? It doesn't matter. Who gives you my number? Carl Froch? Connected. Hey? We're highly, we're highly connected. So. You're highly connected. Do me a fucking favour. You put fucking wank shows on. Pulling will over people's eyes. If Matt Chung were any good, they'd have took fucking Wilder fight. All you're out for is ripping public off, mate. You put pay-per-view up three quid, right? Listen.
I've got people at Sky who tell me every pay-per-view number you lot have, and know what cuts you get and lot. You're all the fucking, you've got people working for you who've got loose lips. Loose lips, mate. And I haven't even started, so I've got news for you. You can attack the YouTube channel all you want, because the guy who does the editing is a proper lawyer. There's nothing going on there that's libelous, so nobody's going to stop me doing my videos, and you ringing me on this Essex Brentwood number. Well, how many times you rung me now? Fucking six times. I've just matched your number up to match your website, so I know you sat in office. I don't give a fuck. I have a duty to the fans and my followers to say what I want about boxing. I'm the alternative news. You're gonna have to keep starting your channel again and again if it keeps getting blocked on Twitter. Well, I'm not, uh, well, fucking hell, that don't bother me, mate. I'm not bothered about views. I don't get any money out of it. I do it for love of sport, not like you lot. Yeah, I get a few quid out of it, mate. I get a few quid out of it. I get tickets, don't I, for shows? Now you're saying you don't get no money out of it. I get tickets for shows, don't I, mate? Listen, I can see what I want, can't I, on my channel? It's my channel, innit? Eddie Hearn. Do you get a hard on talking about Eddie Hearn? No, I don't get an hard on talking about Eddie Hearn. If Eddie's got a problem, he'll ring me, won't he? Feels like you're fancying him the way you keep talking about him, the way you keep putting pictures up about him. <laughs> Are you jealous? Listen, mate, you're jealous. Well, listen, listen to me. I've got news for you, mate. You've rung me now, since the first time you rung me, smile for the camera, since the first time you've rung me I've taped all these conversations and these are going on my account tomorrow, so you've got about 18 hours to get YouTube to stop it. How's about that? What do you think to that? Do you like that? Do you like that, Mr. I know people who've been in jail 20 years? Do you like that? Hey, what do you think to that? Hey? What do you think to that? Go on, hang up in a minute, won't you, you bottleless cunt? Cause, Cause it's under 10 minutes, I might even put this on my Instagram tonight. Have you seen my Instagram? We'll see about that. Porky's bottom slash corner. Instagram tonight. Get watching, mate. Cause you're gonna be on candid camera. We day, we day. We hey? We day. I bet you're buzzing now, aren't you? Yeah, you'll put it on. You'll put I'm gonna put it on, mate, cause you know what? There ain't one man in this country that scares me. And you know threatening phone calls? It's all fucking wind and pissing boxing, mate. Nobody follows through, but you're more than welcome to come and knock on my door any time you want. I'll let you in for a cuppa. Make sure you get Eddie and Barry my best, though. And tell them I haven't even fucking started, mate, yeah. And the fact that it's bothering you all, I'm just going to go even more now. <laughs> Arrange a meeting. You can come and see me any time you want. We're going to be in Sheffield until we... Come and see me then, come and see me. We'll, we'll, we'll make a meeting at a neutral place. Yeah. Yeah. We'll do that then. Don't forget to watch YouTube tomorrow though, because you're on it, mate. Yeah. Uh, Smile for the camera. Smile. Uh, listen, mate, I'm going to put it on tomorrow now. All right, so what do you think to that? Okay, then we'll see you then. We'll see, well, you'll be on tomorrow, YouTube, tomorrow, you'll be on. I'm, t I'm filming this now, smile for the camera. Smile. You don't need to smile, mate, we've got, you've got, you've rung me six times on a match room number, then you've rung me on a no-caller number, and your voice matches every single one. You're fucked. Maybe, maybe, I'll tell you what, maybe we want this, maybe we'll wait for the recording, and we'll see how far that gets. Brilliant, brilliant, well, whatever. Yeah. Um, you're raining people's privacy. I'm what? You're raiding people's businesses. You're raiding people's figures. I'm raiding people's figures? Yeah. How am I doing that? You're exposing, you're exposing everything, Mr. Exposer. Mr. Exposer. Ah, that's you, innit, Mr. Exposer on Twitter. <laughs> Is that you? You're exposing. Hey, hey, hey. You know what it is with you lot? You don't like the truth, you match them lot, do you? You don't like the truth. That's what it is. You don't like the truth. That's what it is. You just don't like the truth. You put boxing back on the map. You've put boxing back on map. You fucking lined your pockets as well, haven't you? Hey, you've lined your fucking pockets as well, haven't you? Hey. 
You've lined your pockets, that you've lined your pockets. Well, listen, you're boring pants off me now, mate. I've got to go because I'm busy. So don't forget, Porky's Corner YouTube tomorrow, 12 o'clock. This video is going to be up. All right? Ta ta! Prick. There you go. Match room. There you go. It's number. Uh, hang on, look, they keep ringing me all the time now. That's the number, match room, look. 01277 That's them there. This is what I have to put up with. These are the ones that have kicked me off Twitter, Matchroom, because I've got an opinion. Right, because I've got an opinion. Because I get a few tickets off a few promoters and I put a few videos out, don't I? I don't take a penny out of them. Look, Matchroom. See that? There you go. Five, look at phone calls about here. 552. 549. Hang on, hang on. Look. Match room. In the middle of my mate clutch, clutch clutch repair. Sorry, hang on. There you go. Look, match room there. Look, match room. Oh one two seven seven three five nine nine oh oh. There you go. Let me just get make sure that that goes on clear. So I'm gonna put this fucker out tomorrow, mate. I'm not fucking about with these cunts. I fucking knew it with them that kicked me off Twitter. Essex Matchroom 01. Can you see that? Essex Matchroom 01. Here we go. There you go. Two seconds. Fucking prick. What a prick. What a prick. O one three O two. No, 01277, isn't it? I can't fucking see it on the work the con. There you go. 01277 Essex Matchroom Sport. Look at them there. Three phone calls there. That's what I have to put in me to my mate who does clutch repairs ringing me, look. Frets. Frets from Matchroom. That's Frets from Matchroom saying that I'm uh, ruining people's figures. I'm assuming that's Joshua and all the rest of them. Now, that's what I have to put up with. So, it is what it is, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? So this is going to be our fucking tomorrow. Alright? I'm just going to send Eddie Earn an email now saying, Eddie, don't fucking ever threaten me. In fact, I'm going to put camera on fucking email before I send it. Two seconds. So then people can see I fucking sent it. Right, can you see that there? Right, what's that say there? If that's to Eddie Yearn, hang on, let me read it. Eddie, if you have a problem with me, Eddie, don't be talking to your little divs from your office. Ring. Don't be having your little divs from your office. Ring me up on 01277 359900 and complaining about my videos and then telling me that you have that you will have kicked me off Twitter. 
making threats, etc, etc. As I filmed the third phone call onwards, and tomorrow I'm putting it out there, matey boy. I don't give a fuck about you knowing people who've done 20 years in jail. I don't take kinder to threat, so let's see how smart you flash cockneys look tomorrow when this video's out there with your head office number on candid camera, with your head guy crying about a pay per view and saying I should have a Frank Warren. Do not have pricks threaten me on phone, Eddie. Don't forget to log on tomorrow, it's Porky's Corner YouTube. Love, here you go. Love Porky. And that's to Eddie Hearn. There you go, hang on. That's to Eddie and Matchroom. There you go, there you go, if you have a problem. There you go. Love Porky. Now watch this now. You ready? Watch this. Send. There you go. That's sent. Do you know what I mean? That's sent. So, let's see how fucking, uh, let's see how fucking tough Eddie looks now. Let's see. Uh, do you know, I'm not, I'm not very well today. I can fucking do it hard it. I can do it hard it, but, uh, let's see. How fucking tough Eddie Hearn is tomorrow, right? Because this is how I look at it. They've got their red guy there ringing me up. You've all seen phone number. It's all matched. How many times? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Three, four, five, six, seven. Eight phone calls. And I've put phone down on him six times, right? Eddie Hearn's man. There you go. Ringing me up on that and uh, threatening me because I'm messing with people's numbers. Now, Eddie's numbers are getting messed up, right? Because uh, they're taking piss out of people, they're milking the Joshua situation, aren't they? Now, I don't know what he's trying to do, is he's trying to threaten me, right? I'm 10 years in prison, teeth missing, ear bit off. I've been slashed, stabbed in the leg, guns put in my mouth, I've been kidnapped for my jewellery because I used to be a gold dealer, right? Watches, diamonds, jewellery, big massive chains that rappers used to buy. I've been I kidnapped and tortured a few a couple of years ago for a couple of hours with a bag on my head. And if I can go through that, right, if I can go through that, what is phone calls from fucking... Essex wide boys from, from Eddie Hearn's office. Now he's dropped a clanger ringing me up. He dropped a clanger ringing me up on that, hasn't he? Leaving the number because I've filmed it. Now, he's a fucking idiot, right? Now I don't know why he keeps trying to ring me, trying to probably get stuff out of me, but at the end of the day, right, all, I ever, I, all I've ever had out of boxing is tickets. Tickets, that's all I've ever had. When I worked with Dennis Hobson, he used to give me a table. Every fight, he'd give me a table. And I gave me, I gave me mates. I take me mates every show, and that were it. A table. There's a, another. Uh, there's other people in boxing who, who give me, give me a table or give me tickets and that. That's it. They do it because I'm likable, aren't I? I'm honest. I've got morals. Now, I match them. They're gonna say, "Oh, you're fucking about with people's." Uh, You're fucking about with people's livelihoods with these pay-per-view and all that. If their pay-per-views are not doing good, because of the... Yeah, I'll sort it, mate. Just come see me at 7 o'clock, yeah? No worries, mate. All right. No problem. See you at 7. Half 6, is it, yeah? If Matchroom are not doing very good on their pay-per-views, it's because... It's because they're not they're not uh, putting the proper fights on it. Now they've got the biggest platform, and now now things are not going Matchroom's way. They want me to put videos out about Frank Warren. Now I'm not going to put videos out about Frank Warren. If I've got an opinion about Frank Warren, I'll put one out about him because I'm not fucking that keen on him anyway. But can you see how Matchroom are? 
Can you see what they're like? Hey. Can you see what they're like? That's what you're up against. Oh, why don't you talk about Frank Warren and not us? Just because they're not having it their own way, they don't like it, do they? Now, people are voting with their feet now. People are voting with their feet about the Joshua fight against Povetkin because they're not selling out, are they? Now, that means that me and other people in my position who do podcasts, and we're not truthers or we're not exposers, we just speak the truth about boxing, I do. He can call me an exposer, call me what he wants. But bottom line is this. I, I'm all for fans and I'm all for fighters. Now, if they've got a problem, so fucking be it. Somebody's obviously given my number, probably Steffi Bull, or probably, I don't know, it wouldn't be Carl Froch, I don't think Carl would give my number out, but if they've got a problem with me, they should fucking take it up with me, shouldn't they, come to my house, and let's see how fucking tough you are now, but I'm going to have to save this video, because if anything does happen, well, I've got kids, aren't I, so, but this is the dark side of boxing, dark side of boxing so it is what it is in it but anyway i'm gonna get off i should ring ed he shouldn't have got his number here but i've sent him an email he'll get in touch if you don't want this video out tomorrow he'll get in touch it's, if this video comes out eddie's gonna cock a death and he's gonna say don't know not about it but this video is fucking definitely going out all right you take care shout out to my sponsors k official uh SAS Digital, Matt and Jeremy, who just text me now, coming to see me. And thanks to Ali at Churchill's Tailors. But today's been a good day because if Matt Room are kicking me off Twitter, right, if they're kicking me off Twitter and, block, and, and making threats to me, well, I'm doing my fucking job, aren't I? So, yes. Fucking power to the people.